If you get up every morning and do nothing but think about all your mistakes and all your problems and how you messed up yesterday and how bad you feel and, and, and about everything you don't have in life, I can almost promise you that you will not be able to go out and be nice to anybody. You got to wake up in the morning and you got to think some things on purpose. Don't just think and meditate on everything that the devil tries to drop in your head. You begin to think like God wants you to think. And you can do your own thinking. You don't have to just think whatever the devil offers you. You can do your own thinking. And one of the things that will help you is to talk out loud. Get up every morning. Drop down on your knees by the side of your bed right away and just say, Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Help me today behave the way you want me to behave. You know, you work for God. You're on His payroll. If you go out and do what you're supposed to every day, you'll get your paycheck. God will take care of you. Come on, I'm talking to you. God will take care of you. We all work for God. But let me tell you something, you're not going to feed the devil laying on your couch watching soap operas and eating donuts. We need to learn how to live with intentionality. That needs to be one of the first laws of our living and we need to realize it's one of the first rules of success, intentionality. We have to do things on purpose. We can't just wait and see what falls on us. We need to do it on purpose. You do what you can do. You do what you know to do that God has taught you to do. And then God will always do what you cannot do. Do you hear me? You do something to sow some seed so God can do the part that you cannot do. What you're facing may be bigger, stronger, more powerful, but when you refuse to worry, when you refuse to live stressed out, instead you stay in peace, thanking God that he's fighting your battles, knowing that he's in control, you are showing God by your actions that you're trusting him. David said, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. God is not just with you on the mountaintops. He's with you in the valleys when you're going through things. He knows what you're up against. The scripture says God is concerned about what concerns you. A sparrow doesn't fall to the ground without God knowing about it. How much more is God concerned about what's happening in your life? Trust Him. Live from a place of peace. This is a decision we have to make on a daily basis. Because every day, there's something to worry about. There's some reason to get upset. All through the day, keep this phrase close to your heart. God's got this. He's concerned about me. He's working in my life. He's bigger than my enemies. He's lining up the right people. He's arranging things in my favor. That attitude of faith is what allows God to do amazing things. I will not put my feet on the floor in the morning until I talk to God. Can you say without hesitation that God is first in your life? It's silly to say that we don't have time for God. And if we don't have time for him, that he's not first in our lives. Do you think about God and his goodness in your life? Do you take time to thank God for your blessings, even little ones? Live to please the Lord. Make decisions that are pleasing to God. How many times do we decide to put God first, but then the keeping him first becomes an issue because in case you haven't noticed, the world is full of things to distract us. I'm sure you've experienced, you make a decision that you're going to pray every morning and study the word before you do anything else. And man, all of a sudden it's nighttime and you don't even know what happened, but that plan you made didn't work out. And so, more than anything, and I want you to listen to me, more than anything, the devil will fight you about keeping God first in your time, in your finances, 
and in many, many, many different ways. You see, here's the thing that you don't want to do. I found myself many years ago trying so hard to work God into my schedule. And finally one day the Lord said, why don't you just work your schedule around me? So are you trying to find a place to put God into your schedule? Or would you be willing today to say, God, from now on, you're gonna be first and I don't care what else has to go or what I have to change, what I have to make an adjustment in. I wanna keep you first in my life in everything. Let me tell you, does not work out right if God is a sideline in your life. He doesn't wanna just be part of your Sunday morning. He wants to be welcomed into and be a vital part of everything that you do. Millions of people believe in Jesus and go to church on Sunday. But God is not first in their life. He puts you first in his life, do you know that? Every single one of you is first in God's thoughts. And I want you to understand this today. You are on God's mind all the time. He's always thinking about you. We could not even count the thoughts that God has toward us. They would be like little grains of sand on the beach. Before you ever arrived on planet Earth, God made a plan for every single day of your life. He won't force you to walk in it, but he would like you to walk in it. He would like to guide you and lead you through life. And literally, let me say it again, be involved in everything you do. In every decision you make, God wants to be part of it. That's what Jesus died for us to have. Well, we sure need God when we're desperate. Well, you know, we can't just go to God when we're desperate. That's not a walk with God. You say, you mean to tell me that I need to spend time with God every day? How about like about every five minutes? God is not for the emergencies in our life. He is our life. Well, so we can just keep trying to do a bunch of stuff without him and just fail time after time and hopefully we'll finally get it. That's what happened to me. Now, some of you are still young enough that you think, oh man, I just, I gotta get married. I gotta have kids. I gotta climb the ladder of success, you know? <laughs> Well, that's good, do all that. But if you do all that without God, you'll come to the end of it and you'll still be very dissatisfied. <laughs> You're gonna be like a person roaming around in the wilderness, seeing one mirage after another that you think has got the water that you need. Well, this will make me happy. Well, this will make me happy. Well, this will make me happy. Nothing is gonna make you happy, content, and satisfied. You may, you may go and enjoy a vacation and you're happy while you're there, but who wants to just enjoy certain events and days in their life? I wanna enjoy every single ordinary day of my life, every day.